<laughs> Do not get that on there. That bonnet. What do you mean? That's your finest welding in your earlier days, that is. That's not my welding, mate. <laughs> Cut that bit of light. That's not our welding, so do not judge that. It all started working on a series in my dad's shed. I followed my dreams and joined the Marines, serving in Afghanistan. Defenders were always part of me. So here we are, building custom machines with my awesome team in Shropshire. We are Maker. Hi guys, welcome to the Maker YouTube channel. I'm Dave. We've got so much going on in the workshop at the moment. You remember guys from the last episode, we did the 90 Special Edition SV. Kurt wanted a different back. He didn't just want carpet. So we came up with this beautiful walnut rear deck. It's gonna have some lovely cargo rails that are gonna go here and here. And then this will be in the center in between the lovely blue bench seats. So I'm giving this some Danish oil treatment. Just to bring out the grain, as you can see there, it's just beautiful. So I'm really sad to see this beautiful build going. This is one of the first ones I built myself and a lot of heart in it, a lot of love in it. We had this car for about a year and a half when we started building it. I never met Graham originally. He approached us and said, build me a car that is gonna do this, this and this. So that's what we did. He then brought it back to us. He didn't like the Cummins, unfortunately. So we pulled the Cummins out and now we've given him a 330D with 250 horsepower, more than plenty for these little 90s. So what's the difference between those two engines then? So the Cummins is very much a towing engine. It's like a, it comes from a lorry, derived in lorries, derived in boats, that kind of thing. Big, heavy workhorse more than anything. Torquey. Oh, very torquey. So 5.9 litres, just no replacement for displacement. A big, torquey motor, but unfortunately it shakes these cars to bits. He didn't like that, so we approached him and said, Dave, as much as I love the rarey, roaring Cummins, can you give me something a little bit more refined? So that's what we gave him. What, and what have you swapped it out to? So we've given him a 330D with our six speed Puma adapter kit. This is a single turbo, straight six. So they come with say 214 horsepower, standard. We give it a hybrid turbo, give it a bit of oomph, make it fun more than anything. So it picks up quick. God, yeah. This military one is one that we've just dropped 330D in it. Originally came here with a 2.5 naturally aspirated, which is just gutless. So we're giving it that beautiful straight six BMW. So this is some kind of hybrid, isn't it? No, so this is a 70s Unimog. Uh, it's a Chevrolet chassis with these beautiful 40 inch Maxxis tyres. We gave it a Cummins 5.9 litre engine. We gave it a 408E, the strongest transfer case that you can get your hands on. And under here is the straight six coming. So basically this is gonna be a promotional vehicle for a client of ours. And it just looks the part. So you can imagine this is what he wants. He wants it to draw customers in. So is someone gonna go on the back of this? Basically he's gonna have a big oak deck made. Yeah. We're not actually doing that, the customer himself is doing this. So we're going to get to this stage, we're going to paint it all military green and it's going to go back to him. For those of you that think we just work on Defenders, we also work on these beautiful machines. So Owen came to us and wanted his SV to sound like a proper V8. He wanted cat-back stainless steel exhaust system. We cut the original exhaust off at the cat and then We've handcrafted a full system from the back. So it's three inch, both sides, all the way to the center. And then you've got an X pipe, so it mixes the V8 sound. So it's not mucked around with any of that. Yeah, we haven't messed with any of the emissions. Yeah. So it's still got the original that, but you wanted the V8 noise. So similar to like SVR tech noises, like naughty, bangs, pops, that kind of thing. So that's what we gave it. Let's hear what it sounds like. Awesome. Insane. I loved it. Exactly what he wanted. He wanted the car that looks the part, feels the part, and now sounds the part. 
So these subs, two of these are going in the back of this puppy. Are we getting on now? Sweet. It's really good, eh? Tidying it all up. So this is Anthony, our audio specialist. Hi guys. Yeah, we've got the central locking loom, which is in there now as well. It's a lot better than what it was as well. It was a mess this was, wasn't it, before? Oh, it came to us in the right mess, didn't it? I think every man and his dogs had to go with it wiring this girl up. Yeah, <laughs> so Arnie who owns this, he wants to make it the loudest, baddest sound system in the country. That's the aim. <laughs> That's so a, we're going to put... That's a pretty cool for each. Big subs in the back of here. The 12 inch, Ant? Tw uh, tens, two tens. Yeah, two ten inch subs, like I just showed you earlier. Um, they're going to the back, we're going for some waterproof 69s here. So when the roof tops off and it's like middle of summer, uh, we're going to give him some nice louvered bench sheets. So that'll be pimp. Dave, this looks like, um, I don't know, this is like something you've had out of the classifieds of a newspaper, right? So this was... A barn find that I found hiding up in Doncaster. I went there to pick up some axles and this was just sat in the corner and I was like, I just have to have it. What is it? So this is a 90 original. As you can see here, they're the original light. I think county, so they give them them colours. And I just want to, I just want to bring it back to life. What are you going to do with it? Restore it, so that's the plan. A bit like we did with Kurtz. Bring it back to life, make it mint. I'm going to do the same colour, keep it classy. So are you going to keep it? Are you going to kind of bring it back to what it used to look like, or yeah. are you going to like add yeah, some? Yeah, so I'm going to do some sort of mods. 200 TDI under there, but what I love about it is everything is original. It's untouched. If I could, I'd put this in a glass box and, and leave it there for 10 years. So this 90 is going to go to its new owner tomorrow. Same again, this is like, I want to say this is number one that we built. So this is quite an iconic car to us. So this one arrived, God. This was a soft top, it was ex-military. It did have a 3.9 litre V8 in it. I think it was owned by Devon Police, I want to say. So we brought this car back to life. We put the panel glass on the back. We put county station wagon roof on. It's got quite a gnarly look to it, this one, hasn't it, I think? Yeah, so we gave it the sporty look. We gave it, so it's Nardo Grey. We stole the colour from Audi. Um, just combine it with some nice bowler black wheels. If you check out the big brakes on the front. So we gave the car a really cool sound system. Look in the back of you. What is this? So this car belongs to our paint supplier, Andy. He's, um, I think they call it trial in, so they drive through gates, like tight gates, and then the faster they do the route, the more points they get. It's an old man's sport. It was originally my dad's, but my dad being my dad, never finishes a project. Hence the one in the corner over there. So we started this one, pulled it all to bits. We put it all back together, as per. And then here it is now, so we're gonna finish it. Darren's just getting it up and running. What's Darren actually doing now? I've seen him wander around with pipes. So we're just putting the oil pipes in. Wrestling with it. Darren doesn't say much, does he? No. He's grumpy. <laughs> oh yeah, so this car belongs to Tom, the Kingsman Editions, and he approached us to give him some big stoppers. So we gave him these beautiful things. Front and back, check them out. What are they? So these are 360mm AP six pots. We gave him Fox Shocks as well. He wanted it to ride as well as it looks. Wheels, Louis? Yeah. So basically we had, we had trouble with where the cage comes through here. If you look inside, there's an internal hoop as well. Look in there. So for maximum safety, it comes through the inside, to the occupants, down to the chassis, through the floor. It's just super fiddly. So look what's arrived from the USA. Check out this beauty.
since you were here last guys we've got loads done on this classic as you can see the wings are on the back ends on that i'll show you shortly and we're just going to get on with putting the props on there we've done things like fitted the radiator the coolant pipes the inner arches next we're going to attack fitting the wings and finally the doors so it'll really come together there what's this going to look like when it's finished so this is an iconic two door two doors were rare and they're even super rare now because they do suffer with the old rot this one has had so many hours well did i want to say 56 hours of metal work has gone into this car is this going to look like kind of when it rolled out the factory to begin with? better so as you can see looking at engine bay there we're building this car for Outlander and we love, he's had these locker covers cast and as much work as it was to make this air filter fit, I do love the finished look, it's fantastic. So the original engine didn't look like this? this the original engine would have had just plain covers, it would have been very tame looking, you know, run of the mill kind of thing, but same again as always, we've given it a nice cutting edge look. So this cooling kit's from Alisport. Fantastic kit, we've gone for electric fans, we've lost a viscous fan. Um, just basically trying to refine the niceties more of it. So, beautiful, just, just works really. So, we galvanise the chassis on this build, just to make it last. So, we don't want the chassis to go rusty, we don't want it to look tarnished. This will really last in this UK weather, especially up in Scotland where you're nearest the coast. As you can see, we've been super busy getting this back end absolutely perfect. You see this glass here? These are super rare, so because normally Range Rovers rot out here. Just listen to that. Better than me. <laughs> so here. So we pride ourselves on getting every single bit perfect. Down to the hinges, the rubbers, the way these vehicles line up. They're a bit like Connect, so a Meccano, every single little bit. You can be five mil down this side, ten mil up that side. And if it's not right, it's something that's really going to bug you for the whole time you're owning this car. I'm interested. <laughs> we should put him on. Um, put my name on. So get this. What's the thing? So for those of you that don't know what an LSA looks like, this is one right here. So this is twin lobe, 700 horsepower, supercharged, 6.2 liter, monster. We fitted on this car some beautiful billet idlers. So you've got billet idlers, billet drive pulleys. It's had the full billet specialities package, which is just beautiful. Like, look how, how much attention and detail is onto these. ARP, stainless bolts. There's nothing that hasn't been touched on the front of this engine. So this is a six speed Tremec. This is the Magnum variant, the strongest variant of them all. So it's got aluminum bell housing, six speed box, what we've done here is we've made a custom billet adapter. So this is going from the six-speed Tremec to the Land Rover LT230. So this stick here controls the diff lock. So we've got rid of low box in this car. This car is predominantly going to be a bit of a fun car, tarmac, the odd dirt track, country lanes, that kind of thing. We're not aiming at using anything lower. It's never going to be towing. So we made it simple and made it strong more than anything. Six-speed, nice short shift, beautiful gearbox, very renowned in America. So everybody approaches us and asks, can we come and see your products? So we never used to have a showroom, but as we've got bigger and better, we decided to, to build this basically. Corner of the workshop, there was nothing really, so we turned into a little showroom to show off our interiors, our trims, as you can see up there, and what we're really capable of doing. So here's some samples of the leather that we use, some of the seats that we use, and more than anything, it's the quality of the products. So this leather here is like the finest leather. We chose a bit of a selection that is tasteful to us. A bit like this leather here, this is the one that's going to be going in Ethos. This is called Diesel Hide. And it's just, as you can see there, the more it wears, the more you want to touch it. And I want these cars to be, to be natural and they want to be inviting to be in. These winches are just the nuts. We fit these to every car that we build if we have the opportunity and the best part of what's in the showroom guys is what is in here 
check that puppy out. So there's 800 horsepower of supercharged Hellcat ferociousness blah, in there. So this is going to be going into our Churchill build. So Churchill is going to be a 110 double cab pickup. So we're going to be sporting some serious axles, some serious hardware, T56 transmission and that puppy. And what's that going to be rated at? What's that going to be able to put out? This is 800 horsepower at the crank. So Ford make this engine. This engine is is like the fire breathing engine that Ford ever produced. Back to project one back. This car is finally coming to bits. So we're starting on having the body off. The body will be off early next week. We've started off obviously cooling pack out, engine out, and we've decided now we're gonna put this car on one of our custom built chassis. It's gonna be a full chassis strengthened to take the power of that monster. Really appreciate you watching my videos, guys. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends. And if you wanna buy one, get in touch with myself at maker.com.